Okay, so I'm going to go over how we're going to do our grid drawings, which is going to be our next project. Uh, first thing you're going to need is an image. Uh, you can get a photo, a page from a magazine. This one I just printed off the internet. You can also trace an image off the internet. Uh, and then the next step is going to be to add a grid on top of it. So for this, you are going to need to use a ruler. Um, if you don't have a ruler, there are some online um, rulers that you can use. And when you pull up the website, it's going to look something. Oops. It's going to look something like this. So it has the ruler on there. And then I would just put my paper up against my screen and I would make the marks. So for this one, I'm just going to make one inch marks. So I would just make it mark every one inch. So that's an option if you don't have a ruler at home. If you are using a ruler, you're going to want to make sure that it's on the edge of the paper so it's nice and straight. I think those marks are a little bit off. And then I'm making a mark every one inch. And then I not only need to make those at the top, I need to make them at the bottom of my paper so that when I draw my lines, they are straight. And then I'm going to go in and just line up my ruler to the marks. I'm making sure I'm using the correct side of the ruler. This has a rounded edge, so I don't want to use that because that's not going to give me a straight line. I'm going to use the straight edge that's right by the numbers. And then now I need to make the, um, the horizontal lines for my grid. So I'm going to turn my paper and mark one inch across this way. Notice because this is an eight and a half inch by 11 paper, my grid is not going to be exactly fitting to the page. So what I do want to keep in mind is since this is going to have some extra room, if I turn it and do it this way, then all my marks are going to be off. So I don't want to turn it. I just want to move my ruler down to the bottom. So I'm starting from the same side. So now I have my grid on um, the image that I want to transfer. Now I'm going to take another blank sheet of paper and make a grid so that I can draw it on this piece of paper. Um, since this is, image is a little small, I'm going to actually make it bigger on this sheet of paper. So I'm going to draw my grid bigger. So instead of doing one inch measurements, I'm going to do two inch measurements. Again, it's not going to go all the way across my paper. That's okay. I'm just going to slide my ruler down and start from the same side so that my measurements are accurate. When I draw this grid, I need to keep in mind that I'm going to be erasing it at the end because the grid is not going to be part of my final drawing. It's just to help me with proportions and drawing. So I'm making sure to make my lines light so I can erase them later. Now I have the grid that I'm going to transfer on. A good way to check and make sure that you did your grid correctly is to make sure that they're all squares you end up with rectangles, then your measurements it off and it's not going to look correct. Another thing you want to check is you want to make sure that you're drawing it in the correct format. For example, he is one, two, three, four, five, six, about six squares. One, two, three, four, five. So part of this is going to get, get cut off probably want to make sure it's his tail and not his ear so that'll just give me an idea of where to start it 
um, and it is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That way I know I'm not going to cut off any of my um, drawing that's important. So it's a good thing to number these. I'm going to start with one, two, three, four, five, six. This is A, B, C, D. So since one is only just a little bit there, I might actually be able to fit all that. I'm going to number this one. Write those a little lightly because we will be erasing all those later. So I'm going to start with the top. And we are in, let's see, let's go ahead and start with A6. So what you're doing here is you're just drawing each individual square, what you see in it. So that's not quite halfway. So let's see, halfway is about there. So this line's coming right here, looks like, and probably about there. You want to do as accurate as you can. So this is not something that you're gonna have. You're gonna want to rush through. This one goes a little higher than halfway. So I'm just taking my time drawing what I see the lines doing. And if you find yourself getting confused by um, some of the squares, you can always just take another sheet of paper and cover it up so you're just looking at the square that you're working on. So you're just going to keep going one square at a time until you've gotten everything drawn. And then once you get everything drawn and it looks accurate, then you're going to go in and you're going to erase the grid. We're going to do this practice piece with any image that you would like to start with first. And then our final project is going to be um, using the grid method on an image for the Houston Rodeo, and we'll talk about that more later. But uh, for now, the practice piece is going to be just to find any image that you would like to use, and then you're going to transfer it, transfer it to another piece of paper using the grid method and enlarging it. So you're going to want to fill up the page. So make sure that the image you find is not too big, and it's okay if some of the pieces get cut off. You just don't want major pieces of it to get cut off. going to go back and you're going to erase all your grid lines. And you will notice that sometimes when you erase your grid, you might erase part of your drawing. It's okay. You can go back in and fix it. So in the end, you should have your original image and then you should have a enlarged image one that you made bigger by using the grid and then you're going to erase the grid off your paper because then at this point then i would add shading or background and some color to it so this is what you're going to do for your practice piece and then 
once you're comfortable with using the grid method, then you're going to choose your radio peak photo that you're going to use as the original source and then you'll use the grid method to make your drawing.